in on today's New York shitty. So by now, I know everybody is all too familiar with the city bike, aka medical Karen. Which situation am I talking about? I'm talking about the one in which a camera was seen going Bryant. Not Kobe, by the way, but Carol Bryant. Yes, the one who put up a career high against the late Emmett Till. Rest in peace, Emmett Till. But yeah, so in the incident, a young black male and this Karen over who booked the city bike first. The internet went crazy. So the Karen in question who worked at Bell Bellevue Hospital, her job was obviously in jeopardy, and Bellevue released a statement saying that she was put on leave while they further investigate the situation. But there's an article that came out yesterday, and I want to inform you guys about it. But I'm the type of person to call a spade a spade, bruh. Like, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, in this world, we don't have real people. If I'm right, I'm right, but if I'm wrong, I'm still right, because I'm going to call out when I'm wrong, so that means I'm right, right? Right. So I'm not saying that this whole situation is false. The one thing that seems suspicious was how come these brothers have not come out to bask in the moment to embrace all the press that they're getting if they were indeed correct so i doubted it a little bit a little bit but i still ran with it because there was no information presented otherwise until yesterday because city bike karen claims viral video of confrontation with black man was taken out of context justin marino a lawyer for sarah comry which is the karen a physician assistant at bellevue hospital who was six months pregnant said the bike in question belonged to his client originally receipts from the may 12th encounter sent to the independent appear to show a serial number matching the bike pictured in the video the receipts capture miss carmley checking out the bike then docking it a minute later without paying a charge. Mr. Marino said that this occurred as his client was being heckled by a group of young men to leave the bike. Can you tell me one pregnant woman that would try to commandeer and steal a bike from a young man? Do you think that would ever happen? He told the independent. Respectfully lawyer, anything is anything. Or whatever, whatever. Anything is possible. But I get your gist though. I get it. Like he argued that the public figures and media have created a false narrative that Ms. Comrie is a racist. This matter is shocking in that you literally have someone who, with her colleague, saves lives on a daily basis, including throughout the pandemic. And within a matter of roughly a minute video, she is suddenly a racist villain, he said. That's shameful. Respectfully again, Mr. Lawyer Man, the woman's colleague in the video and the guy at the end who came in made a split second decision that those boys were wrong automatically. It didn't take a minute. It didn't take days for this video to circulate. It took them literally a split second. You seen it. Address that. And then the article goes on to explain what a Karen is and so and so blase blase, right? So what do I have to say about this whole situation now that I feel like we getting more size of the story? Honestly, honestly, I would honestly say I think both parties in the situation were wrong. I still think the woman was going Bryant and not Kobe. Carol Bryant. Yes, she was going Carol Bryant because she was still trying to put her stomach on the boy's hand, trying to make it seem like it was more than what it was. Because if it was that, she could have just simply moved on and been the bigger person, right? Or she could have simply called the cops, right? Because that's what, I mean, I don't want to say that's what, you know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? You could have called the cops, man. You could have called the cops if it was that serious, right? But then in the same breath, I do want to say, I was already suspicious because the boys in the video never came out publicly like yes behind the scenes but publicly they never came out so then that caused me to think a bit deeper like hmm it may be something wrong you know and in case anybody says oh how come you did it what you call it how come you didn't say that blah 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 actually i did I got this shit in the whole text message message. You feel me? I text a few people on my end after I posted the video reacting to it and I'm um, reporting on it. And I said them same exact words. I said, yo, they're not coming out to the public because there's more to the story. I don't think the woman is racist all the way like that. Like, no. But I do think she knew what she was doing. She knew the power of white woman tears. That doesn't make her completely racist, right? For using an ability that she knows that she has. That's like a disabled person using their disabled card. Or their, and I don't want to put that. But actually, yeah. It is. That does cripple you. If you are a racist or you do have white woman um, tears, that is a cripple. That is a disability. So sorry. Not sorry. But yeah. That's like them using that to their advantage when they need to. So yeah. I wouldn't call that um, a certain thing. It's just taking advantage but how do y'all feel about the situation you know what i mean new york shit is gonna continue reporting on it too so um and the dudes in the video y'all know y'all you know i mean y'all know y'all can reach out y'all can reach out y'all can even reach out to me or y'all can reach out directly to we see you karen yeah you know but anyway moving forward though